This video on workbook solutions for class 5th EVS chapter number 13 a shelter so high is brought to you by Mint Talk India. Let's see our questions. Question number 1 fill in the blanks. Number 1. Gaurav Jani went on a long journey with his motorcycle named Loner. Number 2. The distance between Mumbai and Delhi is 1400 kilometers. Number 3. Delhi looked just like Mumbai. Number 4. In Dash, there were high snow-capped mountains and cold flat ground. It was in Ladakh. Number 5. Julie means welcome. Number 6. Tourists who come to Srinagar love to stay in houseboats. Number 7. Houseboats can be as long as 80 feet and 8 to 9 feet wide. Number 8. Many families in Srinagar live in Donga. Number 9. Mehrab are beautiful arches in the old houses of Srinagar. Number 2. Write true or false for the statement. Number 1. Gaurav Jani's journey took about 4 months. No, it took about 2 months. So, it is false. Number 2. The roads to reach Leh were difficult to travel on. Yes, that is true because it was very rocky. Number 3. Ladakh gets very little rainfall. Yes, that is true. Number 4. Chang Thang is at a height of almost 6,000 meters. No, that is false. Chang Thang is at a height of 5,000 meters. Number 5. Changpa tribe has only 500 people. Number 6. Changpas had horses and yaks. No, that is false because they also had sheep and goats. Number 7. Changpas move from one place to another. Yes, that is true. Number 3. Multiple choice type question. Question number 1. Which of the following place is called a cold desert? So, Ladakh is called the cold desert of India. Number 2. Where is Leh? Leh is situated in Ladakh. Number 3. The carving on the ceiling of houseboat and big houses in Srinagar is called Khatam Band. Number 4. Some old houses in Srinagar have a special window which comes out of the wall and it is also known as Dab. Number 5. Which of the following is not a type of house? Answer is Dab because it is a kind of window design. Number 6. Bakarwal people live in houses made up of stones and mud. Number 4 question. Give reasons for the following statements. Statement number 1. Roof is the most important part of the house of Tashi because over these roofs only Tashi and other families of Leh put their fruits and vegetables to dry in summers so that they can use it in winters when they do not get fresh food. Number 2 statement Goats are the only treasures for the Changpa tribe people. Why is it so? Because the people of Changpa tribe get milk, meat, wool and everything else from their goats only. So goats are their only treasure. Number 3. Changpas graze their goats at higher and colder places. Why this is so? Why this is so? Changpas graze their goats at higher altitudes so that the goats can have softer and finer hair. And moreover, goats are habituated to live in such high altitudes with cold temperatures only. Number 4 statement. Each family puts a special mark on their animals so that the goats of different families doesn't get mixed up with each other. Number 5. Houses on the mountain have a sloping roof so that the rain and snow can slide down the roof of the houses very easily. That is why the houses have sloping roof. Number 6 statement. Every lane in Kashmir has a bakery. People in Kashmir do not cook rotis or bake breads at home. They buy it from the bakeries and that is why every lane in Kashmir has a bakery. Question number 5. Observe the picture and answer the following. Question number 1. Changpa people live in such tents. What do they call their tents? The tents of the Changpa people are called Rebo. Number 2 question. Near the tents, Changpas keep their animals. What do they call this place? So, the place where Changpas keep their animals are called Lekha. Number 3. How are these tents made? The tents of the Changpas, which is called Rebo, is made by weaving yak's hair and stitching up the strips to form the tent. And this is the picture of the 
yak which is found in lake number 4 why there is an opening in the tent chang pas keep an opening inside their tent so that the smoke from the chulha can come outside number 6 question observe the figure and answer the following question where are such houses found such houses are found in lake Number 2 what are the special features of these houses these houses are made up of cut stones which is kept one above the another there is also wooden stairs to go up and down inside the house next question for what purpose are the ground floors used in these houses the ground floor is used to keep the animals and store important things Question number 7 read the following passage and answer the question the world famous pashmina shawls what is so special about the pashmina shawl it is very thin yet as warm as six sweaters number 2 question from which animal is the wool from pashmina shawl obtained where are these animals found the pashmina wool is obtained from the pashmina goats They are found in Chang Thang which is at a height of 5000 meters. So this is the photo of pashmina goat. Number 3 question what is the speciality of pashmina wool? Pashmina wool is very fine and very soft and thin also. Yet it can give the warmth equal to 6 sweaters. So that is the speciality of pashmina wool. Number 4 who makes these shawls and how? Shawls from pashmina wool is hand woven by the workers of Kashmir. It takes almost 250 hours to weave one plain shawl. Answer the following questions briefly. Number 1, why did Gaurav Jani go on such a long journey? Gaurav Jani loved to travel to different parts of our country which are different from the busy, noisy and crowded cities. That is why he went on such a long journey. Number 2 what all things did Gaurav Jani take with him on his journey he took nylon tent sleeping bags plastic sheets warm clothes and blankets dry foods which can be kept fresh for a long time camera torch and extra cans of petrol Number 3 which lake and river are situated near Srinagar what kind of houses are seen near the lake dal lake and jhelum river are situated near Srinagar we can also see house boats there Number 4 what things attract tourists to Srinagar tourists are attracted to the famous and beautiful house boats in Srinagar what is shikara shikara is a special type of boat which we can see only in jhelum river and dal lake of srinagar number 6 how was gorav feeling on his return journey gorav jani felt very sad to leave the special part of our country which is very different from the city from which he came long answer type question write the similarities and differences in the life of bakarwal people and the life of the changpas so first we will see the similarities bakarwal people and changpas both of them live in the mountains of jammu and kashmir both of them keep on wandering that is moving from one place to another both of them depend on animals like goat sheep yak etc and they earn their livelihood by selling the wool obtained from these animals now let's see the differences bakarwal people they keep the normal sheep and goats with them but changpas graze special type of goats at higher altitudes those are called pashmina goats the goats of changpas develop more and softer hair at higher altitudes number 2 difference is that bakarwal stay at lower altitudes also while changpas always stay at at higher altitudes next question gorav was amazed to see the beautiful houses in shrinagar he also made a photo album what were the special features of these houses explain it in your own words so the first thing gorav jani saw was house boat these are the small houses built over a boat tourists love to stay in house boats he also saw donga which is also a kind of small house boat only over dal lake and jhelum river many families in shrinagar live in the donga next in villages he saw people live in houses made up of cut stones and which are coated with mud and the roofs of such houses are sloping 
Next, he saw some old houses which have special type of windows that come out of the walls which are called da and which also has beautiful wooden pattern in them. And he also saw some old houses with different and beautiful arches which are called mehrab. Now think, find and write what type of roofs are there in the houses of Ladakh. Houses in Ladakh has flat roof. Why? Because people lay red chilies, pumpkins, corns and paddies and all such things to dry in summer so that they can use them in winters. What type of roofs are there in houses of Srinagar? In Srinagar, we don't see flat roof. We can see the houses with sloping roof. And also, the houses and villages are made up of stones and coated with mud. There are also houseboats situated on the Dal Lake and Jhelum River. Tourists love to stay in such houseboats. Next question, why is there a difference between the roof of houses in Srinagar in Ladakh? Just now you saw, in Srinagar, the houses have sloping roof, whereas in Ladakh, the houses have flat roof. As the climate in both Srinagar and Ladakh is different, so the houses have different type of roofs to suit the need of the people living there. People living in Srinagar need to preserve their food so that they can use them in winters. That is why their house have flat roof, जिसमें वो अपना खाना सुखा सकते हैं, जबकि श्रीनगर वाले लोगों को winter season में उतनी तकलीफ नहीं होती, they get food items in winter season also, इसीलिए उनके घर के roof flat नहीं होते, sloping इसलिए होते हैं ताकि बारिश और बरफ जब गिरे, तो आराम से फिसल के नीचे की तरफ गिर जाए। Now tell me what were the special features of the houses that we saw? In Delhi, what kind of houses we see? We can see houses made up of cement, brick, glass and steel. In Leh, we can see two floor buildings which are made up of stones and walls were coated with mud and lime. And the roof of the houses were flat. In Changthang, Changpas live and they call their house, which is a special type of tent called Rebo. And Rebo is made up of woven and stitched yak's hair. And what kind of houses we saw in Jammu? Same cement, brick and steel houses. Some type of houses are given here and the names are jumbled up. You need to unjumble it. So this is a hut, this is a bungalow and this is a houseboat. Next photograph you can see a tent house. Photo number 5 we can see an igloo. And photo number 6 we can see a car van. Question number 14. Describe the different kind of shelters in Ladakh and Kashmir which suit the needs of the local people. House in Ladakh have flat roof so that they can dry their fruits and vegetables in summer and use them in winters. People living in Srinagar live in a special kind of houseboat called Donga and people living in the villages live in houses made up of stone and mud and which have sloping roof. And this is how we end our workbook. Hope you like it. The link for the explanation of this chapter is given in the description box. We will meet very soon with the explanation and solution of our next chapter. Till then, thank you very much and God bless you all. Thanks for watching and do like, share, subscribe our channel Mint Talk India for more upcoming videos.